Hello friends, welcome back to this channel. In this video, I am going to give you the solutions for week 1 assignment of Python for data science course. So let's see the first question. Which of the following is the correct way for naming a variable in Python? So here there are two answers for this question. The first one is second option and the other is third option. So these two are the correct answers for first question. And coming to the second question, what does 5 modulus 11 evaluate to? So it gives the answer 5, that is second option. And moving on to the third question, what does 4 double slash 7 evaluate to so it gives the answer 0 but not 0, 0.0 it is just 0 so it is first option and the fourth question what will be the output of the following code snippet so when I did this in my compiler I have got the answer as second option 100200 zero, zero, Actually, I have to tell you that here uh, 100 plus 200 will not give 300 here because these are not integers. These are strings because they are enclosed in a single inverted commas. So, it, it is not 100 plus 200. It is a string 100 plus 200. So, it gives 100200. That is second option. And next question, fifth one. Here the same code but here we should consider the second code snippet only because the options in the options they are not giving two separate outputs they are given only single output the above one is already given in the previous question so it is not the one we have to consider here we should consider the second code so here the answer will be 300 because here they are converting the number one uh, I mean 100 string into the integer form int of 100 int of number one so and also in the similar way in top number 2 so it 100 string will become 100 number and 200 string will be, become 200 number so 100 plus 200 300 so the answer is option A I mean first option is the correct answer for fifth question moving on to the sixth question what is the type of the following expression 1 plus 4 by 2 so it will give float 3.0 it's not 3 integer, it is 3.0 float because we are using division here. So it will give float that is 2.0, 2.0 plus 1, 3.0. So it is float. And the seventh question, what is the type of the following expression? So when I did this, I got the output as true. So third option. And the eighth question. What is the output of the following code? So when I did this, I got the answer as 40. So third option is the correct answer for 8th question. 40 is the answer. And ninth question, which of the arithmetic operators cannot be used with strings? We can use multiplication with strings because uh, suppose take a string called college. College asterisk 2, I mean college into 2. It will display two times as college so you can use this multiplication and also plus we have recently used in the above question 100 plus 200 gives a string so we cannot use minus symbol so option b is the correct answer for ninth question that is second option is the correct answer for ninth question moving on to tenth question consider the list of instructions and resulting outputs given below pick the set that is incorrect so the second code is incorrect because they gave output as trial but when I did this it will get word is trial word is trial but they gave only trial so it is the wrong set of input output combination so only 2 is the wrong answer. 
only two is the wrong set so the second option is the correct answer and moving on to the final question that is 11th one two variables x and y were assigned the following values initially that is initially x equal to 3 and y equal to 6 which of the following statement will help swap the values between the two variables what is mean by swapping swapping means interchanging the values here x equal to 3 after swapping we will get x equal to 6 initially y equal to 6 after swapping we will get x value that is 3 so finally we should get y is equal to 3 and x equal to 6 so the option uh, that is helpful to swap the values is in python we can use like this x comma y equal to y comma x so that uh, y value is given to x x value is given to y so option 4 fourth option is the correct answer for 11th question so friends these are the solutions for python for data science week 1 assignment so for further weekly videos and uh, other course videos please uh, check my channel so you will find the videos uh, for upcoming videos please keep supporting our channel subscribe this channel like this video and share to your friends if you have any doubts regarding these uh, solutions please comment in the comment section so i'll try to reply to those valid queries so until then goodbye thank you